Yes. It's really, really fun. And I don't think this podcast would be complete without me saying this, is weed really helps. Weed, high sex. Well, let's let's oh. put a, a, a disclaimer on this. This is our experience. Yes. So I've heard some people don't like it, but I'm also yeah. like, mm, what's wrong with it? No. I mean, <laughs> one of the things about sex is that it is this really almost kind of psychedelic experience when you're really letting loose the energy that lives within you and kind of letting down your vulnerabilities. And for us, marijuana has really been able to like bring that to a new level. Yeah. And man. oh, so good. Um, Yeah, let's get one thing out in the open right now. Porn is a terrible, terrible, terrible example of what sex is it's and so what it should be. Bad. It's so bad. So bad. Like, I know that there's there's certain types of porn that are supposed to be more like for couples and are a lot less like dramatic, I guess you could say. That's all good and fine. But like your run of the mill porn is just weird. It's just weird. Yeah. It's not it's not and, reality. And you know it's weird when you're watching it, but like yeah. also it's good to be explicit about yeah. it. Yeah. So if you're looking for sex advice, don't go looking at porn. No. Keep porn for your like fantasy mm -hmm. or for something kind of fun or whatever. Mm -hmm. But like it's not educational. They should put a warning on all sex. Like this is not this educational. This is not how you actually connect with other yeah. human beings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean porn's porn is what it is. It's a whole industry and like not gonna dock people who do it because it's a living and it's definitely a big business yeah but it could do a much better job of like portraying real life sex but on it's, the other it's hand not like made to show how people actually yeah. connect with each other it's made to like make men typically feel better about themselves yeah i mean if you ha have video of like people just having really good sex and really enjoying it it's probably not that like exotic or dramatic yeah, yeah. but like that's cool Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is the better I thing. Mean, Would there's you some porn like that out there? Yeah, there's all but... kinds of porn out there. But there's like all kinds of porn, <laughs> man, you know, you're getting into the weeds when you got some real weird stuff coming up yeah. on like the up next shit. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, algorithm. Yeah, for... it's like okay, yeah, it's time. It's time just to close this browser. Yeah. No thanks, algorithm. <laughs> but yeah, this is the thing that I think is a really powerful message for people that you don't have to be like doing a handstand and performing some kind of like acrobatic sexual act for sex to be good I'm like please stop performing yeah please stop performing whatsoever during yeah. sex Perf sex is not a performance it's not a performance yeah. sex should be it should be an impromptu performance it, <laughs> it's like it's just you you're, going, you're like pop, 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 yeah. pop, you know, you're doing like in-person poetry uh -huh. but when you're really good at that then it's really good and uh -huh. that's kind of what sex needs to be like it just needs uh -huh. to be this like i mean it's that that same flow of energy like impromptu musician who can just fucking jam and like bring people to tears with just their creativity and their flow and all that kind of stuff that's the kind of same energy you want to that's cultivate. like intimacy yeah or for sure sex but it's not intimacy mm -mm. you know what i mean yeah like in and where the real like juiciness of it comes from in my experience i did not see this coming but is the intimacy part mm -hmm. oh, that's what it is it's when, so good when you really start to play with each other's energy you can feel the energetic connection you know during sex before sex when you're just messing around when you're just exchanging pleasure back and forth i mean there's all kinds of things you can do and yeah you really lose yourself in the experience mm -hmm. and like become kind of this one this one being yeah. this one energetic center yes it's really really fun and i don't think this podcast would be complete without me saying this is weed really helps weed high sex well let's let's put a, a a disclaimer on this this is our experience yes so i've heard some people don't like it but i'm also yeah. like mm, what's wrong with you no. i mean <laughs> one of the things about sex is that it is this really almost kind of psychedelic experience when you're really letting loose the energy that lives within you and kind of letting down your vulnerabilities and for us marijuana has really been able to like bring that to a new level yeah and man. oh so good a lot of the times it really makes it a nice lengthy experience as well like yeah. it kind of just keeps your body wanting more it kind of keeps your ability to like fall off that edge mm -hmm. kind of at bay and 
I don't know if this is just me being weird, but it feels like for me, especially, it has a lot more control over my body when I like want to release through orgasm or not. I can kind of be like, oh, I'm getting close, but let's let's bring it on back here, and then oh, we you can kind of like control. Control. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. You know? It depends on the position. It kind of depends. <laughs> sometimes it's just like, ah, oh, no, it's on. Yeah. It's on. Um, yeah, I think what it really helps me do is it helps me be in my body more. Mm -hmm. I think it really helps me bridge that gap because that's just not, that's that has been such a blind spot for me in my life in general of like actually being in mm -hmm. my body. I mean, that's one of the great attributes of marijuana and other psychedelics like that is it allows you to really connect inward to your body, to your energy, and with some skillful maneuvering of that during a sexual experience, it can really blow things up. Now, that does not mean that sober sex needs to be this like bland or not good thing too, because that has its own advantages as well. Totally. And a lot of the times, those can be those like real tender moments yeah. of just like Aww. shared experience where, you know, you don't even reach some like ultimate climax but you just share this great experience this intimate moment or mm -hmm. you know a lot of the times some of our best sober sex is like when we wake up in the morning and yeah. it's just how we start the day yeah oh you know? morning sex yeah I love that. but at least for me i'm still like kind of in that liminal space so it yeah you're in the, that sleepy mode yeah like the <laughs> in-between world mm -hmm. oh so good yeah Oh, oh no it happened again i had one more i had another thing that it was gonna be so good well we were talking about sexual energy with the mm -hmm. heightened experience through using marijuana oh. and we were talking about energy and how that allows you to be in your body because it really does like that's probably the best thing that i find about marijuana especially is that it allows the burden of the world to just kind of go away and allows you to really connect with a deeper version of yourself i mean a lot of my most spiritual experiences happen with that aid to kind of let go of all the clutter and sex can be that as well like sex can be an absolutely spiritual like connective thing where you you know you literally feel like you've fucked yourself to like Christ consciousness almost. yeah like, everything agree. seems to make sense uh -huh. and like there's That's no so judgment true. there's no negativity you're just in this pure state of like loving existence yeah do you feel that hella yeah yeah, I guess I feel that, like, I've always heard people talk about that, and I'm like, oh, that sounds nice, but, like, I don't think I can do that. But I guess I have. Yeah, that... I, yeah, I guess I have. It just didn't feel, like, how I thought it should. Or... Well... It's a, it's a kind of a little bit different experience. For yeah, me, I mean, but... that's what expectations do, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, it's a little bit different. It's it's more, it's it feels, it feels more real to me than, like, ethereal. All right. I mean, sometimes it feels ethereal. Hey everybody, thanks for enjoying this episode of the Heart is a Muscle podcast. We really enjoy creating this content for you and we want to share some more resources so you can get even more content. So take it away, Jordan. That's right. If you want to follow either one of us on socials, if you want to work with either one of us, if you want access to our YouTube channel, if you want to buy our book, <laughs> links to all that stuff is on our Patreon. So that is patreon.com slash the heart is a muscle. Now, you don't have to join Patreon to get access to those links. Um, but you probably should. <laughs> the The more that you support us and support this channel, the more that we can create this awesome content to help support you because that's really why we do this. We want to make your guys' lives better and uh, your support really matters. Yeah, and what you'll get when you join Patreon is a shout out in our next episode and you will also get access to listener requests where you will get to request what you want us to talk about in future episodes so from the heart is a muscle podcast to you guys thank you so much for all the support all the feedback we really really enjoy it and uh, we'll talk to you all later truly love you guys so much bye 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 <laughs>